Today, I'm recreating poses from the covers of Spider-Man comics using action figures. From the iconic covers to menacing foes, let's see if these figures have what it takes and what the challenge we get. Let's kick things off by returning to where it all began. Amazing Fantasy number 15, Spidey's debut. I've got my hands on this awesome Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure, which is one of the best Spideys they've made yet. But wait a minute, Spider-Man is swinging with someone, so perhaps we could throw another figure into the mix. There isn't a figure for this guy, so to substitute, I'm going to use this Peter Parker as our random character. Oh, and I can't forget about Spidey's web wings for that signature touch. Getting into the nitty gritty of this pose, I'm tweaking his arms, giving them that mid-swing flare. And then it's all about adjusting those legs, giving it a wider stance, bent knees, all those things that are seen on the cover shot. I'll make a few more tweaks here and there, and then I'll pose the figure for Spidey to hold. In the cover shot, we can see the character's arms and legs are in different positions to show that there's some motion going on, and so that's what I want to replicate here as best possible. 